Hi, this is Beth and Steve McCullough from Best Last Half. Hi, everybody. And we're not in Iowa anymore. Not today, we're not. Where we're, are we, hun? We're in Cayman Brac. Cayman Brac is the third of the Cayman Islands. It's called one of the sister islands, uh, closest to Cuba. And it is absolutely beautiful here. And we've had a wonderful time on this vacation. We've been here 12 days, and when we looked at the weather, it was 80 and sunny all 12 days. And it has been every day. Low of 75, high of 80, consistent. Beautiful. So we kind of ignored what was going on at home. Until just now when we checked what it's supposed to be like when we land in Des Moines. We're landing in a blizzard. Yes, four inches of snow predicted. I'm not sure whether we're going to get home tomorrow, but that's why we're here. You know, we usually try and take a vacation every winter to get out of the snow and cold in Iowa for just a little while at least. And this is our happy place. Yes, it is. So we think it's important in retirement and getting close to retirement that we have just a little bit of time to completely unwind and just rejuvenate and just lay in the sunshine. It doesn't have to be a tropical island like this. It could be anywhere. But just a little R and R time is really important. So we're at our Airbnb that's on the ocean with a little pool here. You must have spent buckets of money for this. It actually wasn't that expensive, and that's because you know it's not the easiest island to get to. And the other thing is, there's not sand beaches. This is all iron shore. It's very rocky. jagged rocks all along the shore. There's a couple sand beaches here. You can go find them. Uh, but for the most part, um, the, the real advantage, if you want to be close to the ocean, you go scuba diving or snorkeling. Here it comes. Ryan and Bree and Steve back from snorkeling. I was out there too earlier. We saw three spotted eagle ray. And Steve's key was a barracuda magnet again. How was it, Bree? It was awesome! You missed the shark! We saw a nurse shark. No For way. Real. For real. And we saw a different type of ray, too. We got all the rays and a nurse shark. It's a blessing I didn't see the shark. Oh, he's beautiful. Oh yeah, the barracuda was following these guys. She was right up next to him. I'm filming you, Bree. What? I'm filming you. Oh, good. Hi. <laughs> Time to be back on land. Back to the real world. The mermaid emerges. I'm gonna lose my voice. <laughs> and that's your jam, isn't it, honey? It is honey? my jam. We have two videos so far, a third one coming on Best Last Half, where you can see my adventures underwater, all the fish and creatures that I've been able to locate. So I hope that you'll check those out. So the other thing is um, we invited our son and new daughter-in-law to come spend a week with us here. Ryan has always been my dive buddy, and I've been telling him forever, you've got to come to Cayman Brac, you've got to see this. It's some of the best scuba diving in the world. And now he knows what I mean. And I'm very proud of Brienne. It was her first open water dives and she took to it like a natural, like a mermaid. Why is that significant, Beth? Well, she's always wanted to be a mermaid. Even during her wedding, Steve officiated and talked about um, Brienne being a mermaid. Yes, and she definitely loved it under there. It's like she was dancing as I were doing. So, you know, one of the things we've been thinking about is that, um, you know, someday we're going to die and we're going to leave money to our kids, but we would rather spend that money on them now and invite them to come on trips with us so that we can make memories and really enjoy it. I mean, the, the problem with having them inherit money is we'll be dead and we won't get to enjoy it. Whereas if we go ahead and spend some of that money on them now and invite them to come on trips, we can make some amazing memories that we'll really enjoy. Yeah, um, and the best part is they want to come back next year. Yeah, imagine that. You know, we knew if we could just get them here and they could see it, that just like us, they would probably fall in love with it. And I think they did. 
Yeah, this is our fourth time on the island. We stayed in two different houses on the north side. I am susceptible to bug bites and mosquitoes and no seams. And we figured out on the south side, with the wind blowing in, there's a lot less bugs. So yep. this is perfect for me. Constant ocean breeze here, and it kind of blows the bugs away. Yeah. So there are some other things to do on the island. Uh, there's lots of hiking. They have Caribbean parrots. It's one of the only places in the world. Um, they're almost extinct, um, but you can go on a hike where you can actually find these parrots. They're, they do exist, and we have seen them and taken pictures of them. So. And Ryan and Bree got to see them when they were here too. That's right. And Brienne tried rock climbing while she was here. The thing about Cayman Brack, Brack means bluff in Gaelic. And that's because the entire north end of the island is a great big, or actually north east end of the island, is a great big cliff, sheer cliff falling down to the water. So um, it's really majestic. And we went on a hike where we could go see it. But on the side of it, that's where Brienne got to try rock climbing because it's a really popular sport here. There's plenty of places to do it because of the bluff. So are you ready to start rock climbing? You know, I'm thinking maybe next year I've got to try it because it looked like she had a lot of fun and she was really excited about it. Yeah, I wouldn't put your head down there. So did you play any cribbage while you were on the island? Uh, funny you should ask. Um, I did play some cribbage. I didn't win at cribbage. Uh, my wife is now a cribbage shark. Um, she needs to be careful or folks like me and Ryan won't be willing to play with her anymore. Um, not only did she beat us, she just absolutely smoked us. Um, in cribbage, it's very rare to get a hand where you score 24 points. Unless you're Beth, because she got like five two, of them when two we of were them, down here Two playing. of them. <laughs> well, it seemed to me like five. I thought I had her beat last night. I was ahead, we were making the turn, and then she proceeded to get two 16 hands in a row and leave me in the dust. What, what about uh, Euchre? Did we play any Euchre while we, we were here? We did play Euchre. Um, Ryan and I decided we were going to play Brienne and Beth because you play with partners. And uh, Ryan and I didn't win that either. Um, we did play um, Settlers of Catan, and I won on the first night, which is Yay. rare. I hardly ever win at Catan. And then the second night, guess who won? That would be bad. It was a good gaming week for me. She not only won at Catan, she smoked all of us. The worst part was after like the third round, it was obvious that she was going to win. And the rest of us just had to suffer through it until she finally won. So, yep, she did what well. A, what about snorkeling? I am a little skittish when it comes to the water. So Steve took me to the pier where they throw the fish guts out. Well, and we got in the water. It's, it's an active boat dock. So the fishing boats will come in and the guys will clean right there. The nice thing about it is it's got a ladder. So it's very easy entry for snorkeling. And there's tons of things. We saw an eagle ray and we saw a nurse shark and just beautiful, beautiful fish. And, um, but the minute we got in, right there in front of us was a tarpon. Now tarpon are massive silver fish. They They're look just six, like sharks. Seven feet long, and they've got a downward it, turned mouth. It was a shark. Steve just was lying to me. <laughs> yeah, I immediately said, Beth, that's a tarpon. Don't worry. Tarpon don't hurt people. They're just big. And they're usually not active during the day. But these, they were active. If you watch um, scuba diving video number three on Best Last Half, you'll see a picture of the tarpon. And tell me it doesn't look like a shark. I was sure it, it was a shark. Anything <laughs> like a shark. But it was big. So.
Now, the Barracuda, on the other hand, um, so there was a massive Barracuda. Usually they don't get this big. Um, not only was he massive, he was a little bit too friendly for our liking. Um, I had taken the car key and I just put it on my watch band through the ring on the car key so that I could take it out with me. We locked the car, I put it on my watch band and we went snorkeling. The thing about Barracuda is they hunt by sight and they look for shiny things. And so when we first saw the Barracuda, we weren't that far from it. And he went and he ate a fish, just like lightning, he went and got the fish. And so I wanted to stay and watch and see if he was gonna keep hunting. I was really surprised he was hunting during the daytime. And uh, then all of a sudden, I'm holding Beth's hand, right? As we're snorkeling, suddenly he turned and looked at us and started swimming toward us. And I started saying, friends, not food. <laughs> not food. Um, Brienne was smart enough. She literally got behind Ryan, all the way behind him. And, uh, but he turned away and swam away, but he kept track of this the whole time. He's kind of following us around, which was kind of intimidating. Well, come to find out, he was seeing the key, the shiny silver key that was on my wrist was glinting in the sunlight. And that's what was attracting him. So basically I was a lure for the Barracuda. So, which was not exactly what I was looking for. Book, yes. And she didn't let me take the car key out with me the next time we went to the <laughs> But I was very proud of her. She did very well out there. And we got to see amazing animals for snorkeling. It was just absolutely amazing. So. Yes, Beth did a good job snorkeling. I'm glad that she loves me so much that she would engage in these ocean activities with me because even though I know they're not her favorite thing, is that a fair statement, Beth? That, that is, is a fair statement. Yes, but it's just a sign of how much she loves me that she'll do it anyway. Now, meanwhile, I went on long walks with her all over the island as we were getting exercise in the morning. <laughs> this morning, a lady stopped and she felt sorry for us, I guess. She's like, do you guys need a ride somewhere? Well, we do have a rental yeah. car. So <laughs> here's the problem. I had on my knee brace. Beth is still slightly limping from her ACL surgery and we're walking down the road and she is coming up from behind us, watching us. Beth Thinking. limping and me with a big knee brace. And she said, do you guys need a ride somewhere? <laughs> thinking these crippled people wouldn't go out on a walk voluntarily, but actually we were, we were rehabbing and that's what we were doing. So anyway, a wonderful lady though, to be willing to stop and we thank her. So I think you should think about your favorite thing. My favorite thing is to be on this covered porch away from the sharks and the tarpon watching this beautiful ocean waves day and night. I, I love loves it here. the ocean and she loves to watch the ocean from 30 feet away. Exactly. Or from the pool. I like it from the pool. Me when I see the ocean, I want to get in there and I want to see everything there is to see there. So what was your, what was your favorite thing? We were here for 12 days. The kids were here, what, seven nights. Well, I have to tell you, just hanging out with the kids and showing them all the stuff on this amazing island was a lot of fun. And they are so funny and so fun to be around. Having them here was special. Um, obviously scuba diving is so miraculous here. It, it makes me just in awe of God's creation. All of these beautiful, beautiful fish and creatures and the reefs here are so pristine. So thanks for watching. Please watch my scuba videos too. And please watch our next video that we post on Best Last Path. Thanks everybody. Bye.
where he's running to. I need to see the nice little corner to hide in. 